Hello, dear Soul Tribe, and thank you for joining me today. I'm doing a tutorial on how to go ahead and swap digital assets across to DBlue cryptocurrency or digital asset. Um, that is Smarty's new digital asset that he has that is backed by Daddy Source himself. Um, we'll be sharing a little bit of information about how to go ahead and swap your XLM across to DBlue. Um, looking at how to add that asset to begin with um, to your wallet so that you have access to it and how to look out and, and decipher between the real one and the scam token because there is a scam token out there floating around with the same name. Okay. Um, the other thing I would like to do today is show you how to do a trade. Um, so there'll be the swap function and then there'll be the trade function. So the swap function will be for direct swapping at the current price. So you'll be swapping any XLM that you have, however many you want across to DBlue at its current price per XLM. Now the trade function is something really handy for if any stupid idiots sell, um, or if sharks um, take a huge sell as well. You can take advantage of that through the trading function and you can select a slightly lower price. Um, and if you're lucky enough, you should pick up more tokens. That's a massive if though. So you're kind of counting on a price drop for that to proceed and go through. Okay. But I'll walk you through both of those things in today's video. And I really hope that this is helpful. I'm going to start my screen share with you guys now. All right, beautiful. You should be able to see what I am doing. Okay, so the very first thing that we want to do is we want to click over here on assets on the left side of the screen. And we're going to go ahead and search for D Blue. Now, you probably see on the screen that I already have D Blue Empowerment added as an asset because I have already purchased some. But we're going to go ahead and have a look and look it up just for those who haven't already added it. And then that way I can show you the false scam token. So I'm going to type in D blue. Now I am using a PC for those of you who are using a smartphone or an iPad. It may be slightly different. It would be better for you to go ahead and make this purchase and do these, um, these swaps on a PC or a Mac or a laptop or something like that. Um, because you do get more functions uh, especially when it comes to the search engine. So as you can see, I've typed in D blue and you've got two that have come up. So the first one up here that you can see there is some liquidity in, um, in my wallet is the real D blue. That is the one that connects to the QR code that Smarty has sent out numerous times. Um, it is D blue dot x mint dot io that is the correct one that you want to go ahead and choose down the bottom here you can see we have a scam token we have a copycat uh yeah um d blue empowerment stella mint network don't click on it don't add it just leave it be and hopefully they'll fade away um so we're going to go ahead and click on the trade for the d blue d blue dot x mint dot io and we're going to do a trade first. So I'm going to show you guys, since we're already going to be going to this page, I'm going to show you guys how to go ahead and create a trade um, that will be at a buy order. So a set value. Okay. So you can see at the top, I've got D blue empowerment, the correct one. And then over here, I've got the my lumens, so my XLM, my Stella, and that's my balance there for that. So that's what I'm working with. Now, as you scroll down, you can see there's an order book over here on the right, okay? Now, down here in the green are orders that people have placed for buying DBlue using Stella. Okay, so the very first one, the top here, someone's got an order sitting there at 10 XLM. So they're hoping that, well, not hoping, but they're, I guess, sort of looking for the opportunity for the DBlue price, to drop down to 10 XLM. And then they're going to buy in, as you can see over here, they're going to buy 25 D blue. Okay. At that price, that's how much seller they've got to contribute. Okay. So that's what they've decided to do. And there's plenty more going down here. So you can see someone's hopeful down here at the 6.5 marker and that's cool. Um, so basically these people here are counting on there being a drop in price. Now that has happened in the past with sharks selling off. Okay. And um, also with people taking small profits along the way, which Smarty has said is okay, but we would like to hang on, hold all, right? Hold the line guys, because it's really important that we do 
keep this asset building and growing and growing. And collectively, we can hopefully just raise this price through the roof, right? Um, okay, so we're going to go ahead and I'm going to place a trade order, which is a buy order, okay? So you want to make sure you've got selected buy, okay? Buy, not sell. If you have sell selected, you will be selling, okay? And, and you don't want to do that, right? We want to buy D blue. So I'm going to leave the limit, the type as limit, and I'm going to go ahead down here and I'm going to decide to, hmm, okay, I'm going to be a little bit cheeky. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to um, place my order just above this very first one so that mine's the first to go through if we do have a slight fluctuation in the value of D-Blue. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to type in 10 point, hmm, what have I got? Yeah, I'm going to go 10.1. So that should took me put me right at the top of the list. And I have got this many XLM to use up for this sale, right, for this trade. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that amount. And then I'm going to minus 10, okay? Because I want to leave at least 10 XLM in my wallet for future trades. If I'm just swapping some of my other currencies and my other assets across, I want to have a little bit there to work with um, at all times. So I would advise that to anyone to keep a little bit of Stellar Lumen in your wallet if you can. So you can see here, it's automatically given me an amount of D-Blue that I can purchase at that trade, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and say, buy D-Blue. It's going to give you a little warning, okay? It does this all the time. I think it's a bit of a security thing they've got in place. So confirm and proceed. It'll take a minute and you should see over here, on the left, mine is now there at 10.1. I'll be buying 26 D blue, which costs me 268 Stellar Lumens. Okay. Now <laughs> someone's just put a trade above me. So there you go. Um, basically that's how it works. So what'll happen is if there's a slight dip, as you can see up here, there was a dip that went all the way down to 6.1 um, earlier today or last night, I think. Um, so whoever, you know, had a buy order in there for trading um, would have taken advantage of that shark, you know, basically dropping their bag or whoever it was that decided to just pull out completely. I would not advise that because um, this is daddy's coin. This is our king's coin. And if you can imagine in the future what's going to happen when the world finds out about this, when this is fully launched, this, this coin is going to have tremendous value tremendous value okay not to mention it is healing the world as it spreads around and i will tell you right now i have already had some form of abundance come to me my partner jacob he literally just got a pay raise the first day that we purchased d blue so it is it is blessing those who buy it um and it's healing the world along the way and it is backed by daddy love and light right so how how could we go wrong all right so now that I've got my trade order in, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do a swap. Okay, I'm going to go and cancel my buy order simply because I need some stellar lumens to work with for this swap that I'm about to show you. So I'm canceling my buy order right now. And I can place it again later if I choose to um, do that. So canceling my trade by order. And I'm going up here now, as you can see over on the left side, um, we've got the swap function. Clicking on the swap function. Okay, once again, you can see I have a balance of 278 Stellar Lumens. That's what I'm working with to purchase my D Blue. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to go and do a straight swap right now for the current purchase price of D-Blue, which I believe is about 12.5 um, 12 XLM per D-Blue at, at this present time. So I'm going to go ahead and buy um, two. I'm going to buy, I'm going to, whoop, no, wait. I'm going to go down here and I'm going to select my D-Blue because I don't want to buy USD. That's rubbish. Who the fuck wants that? And I'm going to buy... Two, just for example's sake for you guys. So it's going to now generate an automatic price there. Actually, I'm going to buy one because I do want to do a trade late, guys. <laughs> so 12. Okay. So it's going to cost me 12.6 XLM to go ahead and buy one D blue. I'm going to click swap XLM to D blue, and that should be automatic. Okay. 
confirm swap. There is a little fee, a little slippage fee, um, which is unfortunate, but that's just the way that Lobster operates. And I guess the platform does have to make money somewhere, right? So, oh, done. So I have purchased 1D Blue for 12.6 XLM. Done. Sweet. So now I have officially showed you how to do a trade. I have showed you um, how to add the correct asset, which is D Blue. I have also showed you how to do a straight swap from XLM across to ZBlue. Now it is also possible if you have other assets, as you can see here, I've got a few, um, they're all kind of worthless because they scam coins that I, I didn't know about when I first started, but you can swap anything that has liquidity across to the value that you want in ZBlue. So it doesn't just have to be XLM. It's just most of us purchase that um, when we open our account, when we do our, our first deposit. So um, I'm trying to think of if there's anything else that I'd like to show you. Um, I want to see if I can show you how to do the QR code. No, it's not going to give me that function on my PC. That's okay. All right, guys. Um, I really hope that that was, that was somehow helpful to you and that you were able to take something away from that and learn a little bit more about how to use this platform, Lobster, and and not be afraid because, you know, this is kind of the way things are going in the future. There will be a lot of digital assets out there. Actually, I just heard there won't be many at all. But it's good to get to know now because um, there's going to be a lot of digital, digital transactions happening in the future and um, learning how to do these kinds of things is really, really going to be favorable to us. Um, also, guys, just want to let you know, we are truly blessed to be able to have the opportunity to buy this digital asset, our King's digital asset, so early in the game. Um, like I said, it, it's going to be a very high in value later on, like very, very high. And we are we're so blessed to be a part of this right at the, the infantile stage. So thank you, King John Smarty. Thank you, Queen Jasmine. And also thank you, Daddy. And love and light to you all.